and welcome to a new KiCad tutorial. This tutorial will deal with the download, edit and assign of a diode fee footprint. This is KiCad tutorial 1.6. We must now get a footprint for this diode D1 MBR S340. As I've said before, this tutorial is based on this blog, KiCad tutorial, tutorial 1.6, assign more footprints, and in particular the diode, which is symbol number 6, the diode, diode D1, MBRS340. Now KiCad does not have a footprint for that diode, but we can download uh, a footprint from Ultra Liberian and we click here I'll leave the link in the description below and this is the diode that we want the footprint for the MBRS340 and if we click on it then Ultra Liberian says uh, there's no exact match found However, there it suggests a couple of similar footprints. And the one I chose is this MBRS340T3G. And then you select it. And take you to the download page. And you click on download. And you select keycat over here you click here that you're not a robot and you click on download I'm not going to do it yet because I have already done it you then store the footprint on your computer I stored mine close on my C drive keycat footprints and in that Footprints, I opened a diodes library, which is the diodes.pretty. It is a file with a .pretty extension that gives you a KiCad footprint library. And there is the footprint itself, mbrs340.keycat underscore mod. That is the file of the footprint itself now you must also add the library the diodes library to the keycat library and you do that by you do that by opening the footprints editor and you click on preferences and click on manage footprint libraries and the footprint libraries window opens you go to global libraries and you scroll down right to the end and then you choose the this file icon right at the bottom which says add existing library to table you click on it and then you nav navigate to where you stored the library. And remember, I stored my library right on the C drive on KiCad footprints. Click on it. There's the diodes library. You click on it and you click OK. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. I'm just going to click cancel. As you can see, there is the diodes library with the URL or passage path to where the, the uh, library originates. There it says diodes.pretty. That's the footprint library file. Then you click OK. OK, so if we open the footprint in the footprint editor we look under the diodes library and 
this is the um, footprint file itself mbrs340 and this is uh, uh, what we get if we take a look at the data sheet uh, the Fairchild now on semiconductor data sheet and we look at Fairchild MBRS340 shot key rectifier, the diode that we are interested in. And we look at the landing pattern. And it says here the outside distance, the total outside distance of the between the two pads is half of 2.6 is 1.3 plus 7.2 plus half of 2.6 is another 1.3 is 9.8 millimeters and the vertical height or width is 3.2 millimeters and the horizontal width is 2.6 millimeters however if we marry uh, if we measure the pads then we see the distance between the, the outside edges of the two pads are about 8.5 millimeters yeah roughly and uh, the horizontal width of the pads is about 2.79 millimeters and the uh, the vertical height of the pads is about 3.779 more or less, 78. Now, if we compare that, if we compare that in the table over here, this is the what the data sheet uh, says it should be the distance between the outer edges should be 9.8 according to the data sheet we measured 8.5 more or less vertical width or height 3.2 millimeters and we measured 3.7 and the horizontal length is two point should be a, according to the data sheet 2.6 and we measured about 2.79 millimeters so we can say that the pads are slightly bigger as recommended by um, Fairchild or on semiconductor and the pads seem to be too close together so we have to rectify that this is the footprint that we're going to edit, uh, the MBRS340 that we downloaded from Ultra Liberian, and we're going to save it as MBRS340 underscore mod and click save i've already done it so i'm not going to do it again here it is i've done all the changes i'm just going to discuss the changes with you that i've done the left vertical line click on it click properties that i've changed the start point to minus 5.25 millimeters and the end point to minus 5.25 millimeters and the reason for that is because the reason for that is as discussed the total width distance between the outside edges of the pads according to the data sheet is 9.5 of 9.8 millimeters but say it's 10 millimeters we take half of that that gives us five millimeters and we add another 0.25 millimeters to give us 5.25 millimeters 
the 0.25 millimeters takes into account the uh, width of the line. Once we've done that, we click OK. Now the pad, right click on that, properties. The position is place it at minus 3.6 millimeters, and the reason for that is remember the total uh, center distance between the pads is 7,2 millimeters, half of that is 3.6 millimeters. The x distance, horizontal distance, is 2.6 millimeters, and the vertical. Height of the pad is 3.2 millimeters. And that we've put in here, x 2.6, y 3.2. Let's click OK. And the top right horizontal line, right click on it, select properties, and we make that minus 5.25 millimeters the start point at x and that is because the vertical line is at minus we moved it to minus 5.25 millimeters and the same with the right bottom horizontal line click on it right click properties and that we the end point X we moved at minus 5,25 millimeters. And once again, that is because the uh, vertical line we moved to minus 5,25 millimeters. We click OK. And we click Save. We did the same on, on, on the other side. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because it's just a mirror Im image. Change this distance to 3. Uh, six millimeters, but on the plus side, we move this uh, vertical line to plus uh, 5,25 millimeters, and you just make sure that these lines also end at 5,25 millimeters. That is the top one, this one, and and this one, and then you just save it. And that's it. All we have to do now is um, assign the footprint to the diode D1. And choose the diodes library. And there we see all the footprints in the diodes library. We choose D1 and we choose the footprint that we edited. MBRS340 underscore mod, and we double click on it, and it is assigned to dial D1, and we click apply, save schematic, and continue. I think that is enough for now. Next time we will design a footprint for the connectors. I do leave links in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions, Leave them in the comments below. Please click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and goodbye.